Hey guys, I just got done with a different project. We're gonna do a quick dirty uh, install on this Kurt wiring harness. I My tradesman does not have fifth wheel prep from the factory, so it doesn't have heart wiring or anything. Just ordered this off Amazon. It's a 56070, um, seven foot extension. Plugs into your seven pin on the back side. And then, uh, yeah, goes from there. I'm going to run you through where we're at. It's dark, so I'm going to do my best, but um, I'm going to show you where we're at and what I did to put it where I wanted. So be right back. So the Ram, at least Tradesman, I would guess all trucks, have a plastic um, cap right there. So I didn't really want to drill a new hole in the box, and I didn't think about getting the Ram kit, but anyways... So I took the, the plug out and the seven pin was too deep. So I went into my 3D printer and built a spacer. So I'm just going to attach the spacer and the plug to the bed here. Oh, it's fighting me right now, I need two hands. But I'm gonna attach that to the bed, um, probably screw the spacer to the 3D the sorry the seven pin and 3d spacer then i might uh a silicone or epoxy something on there and see how long that lasts and maybe do something more permanent later um from that hole it runs down from the fender um across above the frame and then it just runs to this seven pin connector right here um the seven pin acts like it has two connector or two tabs you have to push on but it does not you just push on this tab right here so as you go together it snaps together just push this tab down and then pull out if it acts like it's not wanting to push in while you push this tab down um that will help you get it done um the way this works is Whoops. I'm an expert film crew here. Which is myself. <laughs> um, the way this works is it just tees in. So everything that you would get to the... Uh, everything that you would get. So brakes and everything. Um... That goes through the seven pin and the bumper will now go to, into the box. That just snaps in there. It's nice and flat so it can clear the spare tire. This and this just go together. Let me set you down. Less one handed stuff, I guess. So, this and this just go together. like so and then you just zip tie it up out of the way kind of like this um obviously there's a 10 footer and that's what amazon and kurt and everybody recommend for my truck but i was looking at it and i'm like that's just gonna be spooled up somewhere so let me go grab some zip ties because this one's plenty long anyways um, go grab some zip ties, get it tied up out of the way a little bit, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. This is what it looks like, uh, kind of secured in here. Um, it's just run up the side there. The box, I just doing temporary, it's just zip tied up there right now. Um, but it's good enough. The, we gotta get our camper in couple days and I just needed it needed it good to go so that's the the quick and dirty on uh, that's the quick and dirty on the Kurt seven pin wire extender um, fifth wheel prep whatever you want to call it electrical so thanks thank you guys for watching